Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's Dazo here, welcome back to another video and today we have the mathematically solved issue with Kino de Totem. Well, I wouldn't say it's an issue but it's been on my mind for a while and I've been trying to prove it for a very long time and I may have just done so. Now, Kino de Totem is a very iconic zombies map. Now with the integration of Xbox One and Xbox 360 servers, a lot of people are currently playing it. Now I have developed a method of getting into theatre room before round two begins, while also having enough cash to buy an M14 or Quick Revive, um, but you will have exactly zero bullets in your ammunition and so it's basically just a perfectly working um, idea that I really think it could work. It's literally the second you start round two, you will be within theatre with a gun or quick revive. So the way that this works is pure luck. Now it's highly improbable, um, but it is possible. It is a possible method, you just have to get extremely lucky with power-up drops and everything that's required. Um, but don't go disliking thinking, oh this is extremely impossible. It's not impossible because it is possible, um, but it's just highly improbable. It's quite unlikely that somebody will get this lucky. Um, but if anybody does, if anybody is able to literally do this word for word, get the exact same points, the exact same way that my method describes, please put up a video response and I will be more than happy to just display it everywhere I go. I'll advertise your video, I'll do whatever. I just went down, that's surprising. Okay, so the way that this works, now I've got the paper here in front of me, now I literally barely understand it myself so I'm going to try and explain it the best I can. I'll probably annotate stuff through the video. Um, so basically, as you queue for a solo game, six zombies will indefinitely spawn on the first round. There's a total of six, no more, no less. So that means six zombies to kill. Now, what you want to do is, since you spawn with 40 bullets, if you see here, 8 and 32, that's 40, each zombie can take 12 bullets to the shin. Now, this is before they die. The next hit will kill them, but they can initially take 12 to the shin without dying. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate because I'm just going to focus on surviving and describing. Um, so, 12 bullets in each shin. So that will take you up to 620 points on the first zombie because you can shoot it 12 times in the shin, that will give you 120 points. So you'll be down to 28 bullets, but you'll have also earned 120 points putting you on 620. So then you can further knife the zombie to earn another 130 points, which will put you on to 750 points. Um, this is really good because uh, 750 points isn't bad for the first zombie. So you can earn 250 cash per base zombie kill. But if you get extremely lucky after that first zombie you get a double t uh, double points. So that means you're on 750 points and you also have double points. Now what you then need to do is repair a barrier now you can only repair four barriers before um, you no longer earn any more cash so if you'll see here I'll be taking up to 540 points and I'm just going to call it points because I don't want to confuse people but as you can see even if I re repair more barriers I'm probably going to die here even if I repair more barriers um, I won't earn any more points so if you have your 750 points from the first zombie kill and then you earn double points and repair four barriers that will give you an extra 80 cash because uh, 20 points per repair, four repairs, 20 times four is 80 
So you have 750 points from the first zombie plus the 80 from repairing, which is 830 points. So after you've got those points from repairing, what you want to do is kill the first zombie. Um, you want to kill... Yeah, basically what I've done here is I've not included the 500, I think. I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, I... I didn't include the 500 that you get from the start, so I think you may even be able to hit box while in theatre, which is pretty incredible. Um, so you're on, yeah, I'm going to have to do this on the top of my head now. So you're on 830 cash after killing the first zombie, and you've got double points. So you then kill the second zombie the same way, you shoot them in the shim 12 times and knife them, but this time you'll get 500 points because of double points. So you'll be down to 16 bullets and you'll have 1,230 cash. Now if you get a carpenter off the zombie you kill, you'll be on 1,230 cash plus the 400 from uh, the carpenter because double points, you get 200 for carpenter and then double points will take it up to 400. So that will put you on 1,630 points. That will be after the second zombie, so you'll be on 16 bullets and 1,630 points. So after that you want to kill the third zombie the same way, use 12 bullets. That will take you down to 4 bullets, you'll have just 4 bullets left. Um, and since you're on 1,630 points... Uh, the 500 points from that zombie with the double points will put you on to 2,130 points. So that will be just the third zombie. Now if you, since you'll be on four bullets, you'll need to get a max ammo. So this is what I was talking about, it being highly improbable. Um, on the third zombie kill, you need a max ammo, so you replenish your ammo. Um, but because you've only got four bullets in your... Uh, first mag uh, you will only get a 32 bullet replenish so that will put you on to 36 bullets um, it won't give you the full 40 because you still have four left in your round so you'll have 36 bullets you'll be on 2130 cash um, because you won't have earned anything other than that zombie kill so the fourth zombie kill um, let me just read this here uh, you'll go down to 24 bullets because you'll have the 36 from the max ammo. So you'll go down to 24 bullets. So that would be 2,130 plus 500 for the kill because you'll still be doing this within the uh, double points. Of course, highly improbable but still possible. Um, so you shoot them again in the shin and the knife. That's 500 points, that'll put you on 2,630 points. Um, and then if you get a carpenter off the fourth zombie, that will put you on to 3,030 points. And then the fifth zombie, again highly improbable, you get your third carpenter. So you get 3,030 points, kill him within double tap, get your 500 points, uh, double points should I say, get your 500 points for the kill. I'll put you on 3,530 points, and then you get Carpenter, which is 3,930 points. It's all very complex. Hopefully, I'll put some stuff on the uh, screen to help you guys visualize this. So, you'll be on 3,930 points on the fifth zombie kill. Then, you kill the sixth zombie, which is another 500 points. So you'll be on 4,430, and then you get a nuke whilst within double points. So 4,430 plus 800, which will put you on 5,230 points. And then um, round two will begin. And if round two begins, you can also repair the four barriers from the start of round two. So that will put you on to 5,310 points. Um, yeah, 
So at the start of round two, you'll have 5,310 points. So then you can open this first door. Now the first door costs 750 points. Um, so you'll go down from about 5,330 to... I'm not too sure. Uh, Alright, well, the total cost of the doors are 4,250. The first door costs 750, the second costs 1,000. Uh, the third into dressing room costs 1,250. And, and down again. The fourth into theatre from dressing room costs another 1,250. So that's 4,250 there, taken away from your 5,330. Uh, yeah. 5,310 so you'll be left with 750 1,060 points while in theatre so then you could purchase box or you could purchase quick revive and a wall gun now I'll visualize this for you guys the way I'm explaining it right now it's pretty tough to explain but basically that was the whole thing um, I mean, there was a lot of controversy that I had found when I was asking, like, I was looking on YouTube, can you reach theatre on first round, and people have all said it's impossible, and I thought, it's it's not, it can't be impossible because theatre is the centre point, the, theatre's the centre point, it's centre here, and it's centre all the way around, it's a symmetrical map, it's centre. Surely you should be able to reach the centre point easy enough. So I did all the thought process and even though it's highly improbable, like probably a 99.9% .9 chance of this ever happening, uh, it's, it's still possible. And even if you don't get two carpenters, or even if you don't get a kaboom or a max ammo, you could still earn enough to reach theatre. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll hopefully try and explain it a little bit better with images or whatever if I can actually edit that well. Um, I'll probably put up zombies, pictures of zombies or whatever and hopefully visualize it for you guys but the way I'm explaining it I think some people may be able to understand it but again maybe younger audience won't be able to um, so I'll hopefully visualize it a little bit for you guys but then I only got 630 cash that was really low but uh, yeah hopefully I'll explain it for you guys hopefully if I did do well uh, if you actually understand it Please be sure to leave a like, comment, favourite and subscribe. You'll probably see some more uh, zombie videos from me. Because uh, I do really enjoy zombies. And I'm fairly good at it if I might say so myself. Uh, especially if I can solve one of the most controversial issues. Um, but hopefully, yeah, I'll visualise it for you guys. And if it does work out well, please be sure to leave a like, comment, favourite and subscribe.